unstable soil underneath Reynolds Elementary School led to the decision to close down the school at the end of this school year, a decision many parents didn't like. In a meeting last night, the board presented the future plans for Reynolds students and staff. We're going to be merging a large portion of the current Reynolds area with the Libby. This does not interrupt Libby at all. And then you have the upper portion that has about 63 students up there. That would merge with the Del Rio area, and that does keep those students within two miles walking distance of Del Rio. The window for parents to choose a different school in the district will be extended for Reynolds families until April 21st. Plans for staff will depend on those selections. Students and staff in the bilingual immersion program will be kept together and transferred to Fusa Elementary School. The plans that raise transportation concerns. Some households only have one car, as I heard in the meetings. If their children have to walk far to these new sites, what is the district planning to do for these non-IEP students? From our home, which is on Big Sur Street, to Libby, it is a 29-minute walk. 29 minutes, that's a lot to ask of a young child to walk by themselves to and fro school across busy streets. Si necesito que... I really need transportation to wherever he's going to be moved to. And in all the meetings that have been present, they have told me that there's no transportation and that it won't be available either. The school district says the budget for transportation is $5.7 million and they currently transfer fewer than 300 students at that rate. Board Clerk Mike Blessing said transportation isn't likely to be extended soon. I don't have the answer for transportation for you. I'm going to ask you to just stick with us as you go through the selection of the school that makes sense for you in the next couple of months, and we'll see what we can come up with. But I, I, I cannot promise that to you at all come August. It just is not feasible for us to do that. If we can get something going at the state level, there's maybe hope there. The district will explore creative transportation options with the support of parents and city buses. Tanya Thorne, KPBS News.